Okay, for this project, I want to demonstrate how I would make a, a scoop for a coffee scoop, sugar scoop, or whatever. And realize that as I said before, we'll take the square stock, we'll convert it to a round piece, which then makes it uh, available to, for finishing the product. So the first thing we'll do is we'll turn it round and then we'll proceed from there. Here's a soldier again. You see the, the knife blade into the wood. The knife blade, uh, So we'll drill the hole with a, with a bit that I've modified because as you can see I've taken the edges, the corners off of it and it uh, will leave me a nice brown bottomed hole minimizing work on the interior afterwards. So we'll tr the lathe has to be at a slow speed for this of course. We feed the bed into the wood. This is the easy part. This is a lot easier than doing it with a standard tool that we have in the past. Next thing I want to do here is to measure the depth of the cut. So I know where the back of the scoop is going to be. We just mark this off to Okay. Now, for the, for the purposes of stabilizing it, because of the relatively short bite of the, of the, of the uh, uh, chuck, I use this cone with a live cone on the tailstock to stabilize the, the uh, piece so that it won't fall off on me. Now let's speed it back up. I'm going to mark off where the end of the, roughly the end of the curve is here to give me a guide. Then I'll use a gouge and shape the, the shape the uh, size of the uh, to get the thinness of the wall down where I want it. You never realize that the tool I have just showed before, the tool is rotating. It isn't cutting now. I have to rotate the tool and move into the now it's starting to cut. And I slide it along, get a nice smooth cut. We just work it down till we get at this point I like to use a smaller gouge uh, because of the of the size of the curve. So I use a smaller version of the same gouge. Same thing, it's, it's riding on the bevel. 
I'll rotate it until it starts to cut. And I can just peel it off like that. to do here is I like to take a to, a, to check the thickness and and try to establish where the bend is in the curve. So it's pretty good here. This is not too bad. So we take a little more off, round it out a little more. Just take making room for a handle. And again, in, in, in being consistent with the idea of different tools, different, different. Uh, bevels, different points. As you can see, this one is more pointed than the other. It will go down into the corners a little easier. But again, it's the same philosophy. It's riding the bevel, presenting the point to the work. One more, one more check to see how deep it is and how close we are. Take a little bit more. And you notice that using the tool as a knife down grain, thick to thin, it's very smooth. Probably smoother than you can get with sandpaper, actually. That's pretty good, so we'll finish it off. I'm gonna go back to the pointed one because I wanna get this deeper here. coming towards me, so as the head moves towards the turning like that, and turning it up. This is where I'm not totally a purist. I don't have any shame in using a little sandpaper to help the project along. So I'll sand this off, get rid of a little of the tool marks. I normally use 80 grade sandpaper and then follow that with 120 or 150, which allows me to get a, a pretty acceptable finish on it when we're done. Now we should be able to cut it off. To cut it off, I like to use a skew, a small skew. It's actually a wood carver's skew and we cut it off the blade like this. close with the help of a band saw now we should be able to finish this scoop. I'll show you that. Now I've taken the piece from the lathe with a band saw I've cut off an angle as you can see and we end up with a scoop. 
and the thick the wall thickness and the size of the scoop are all variables. So they're up to the turner to decide how big they want it, how dainty it should be, etc. But this is an example of the way. And as you notice in the in the base, there's very little to be done inside that the, the, to augment what the, the bit did on its own. It's a very acceptable uh, result.